Yo, what's good? It's your boy B-Dale. Today, I'm going to give a theological synopsis on the metaphysical fifth dimensional frequency on the planet that's basically being disguised as World War III, which is a psychological operation to enforce draconian laws through a technocracy that's engineered by fear and to keep people acclimated to a one world totalitarian governmental system that's controlled by artificial intelligence because the third eye for the beast is technology by merging humans with cybernetics, which is a personification of transhumanism. Right. So with all that shit being said, when you break down the dynamics of everything that's going on on the planet, World War Three is actually a spiritual war with the false perception of being a physical war. I'm going to say that again. World War Three is actually a, a spiritual war with the false perception of being a physical war, because the foundational principles of the universe is rooted in divine retribution, meaning that what the fuck goes around comes right back around. So that can only be engineered and orchestrated by nature, not by mankind, which coincides with the cosmic celestial event that's going to take place on the planet called the Great Solar Flash, which is going to be the precursor to the Great Reset on the planet. And this is basically uh, the symbology of a new heaven and new earth when you're talking about Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. So I got to give it to you from a biblical uh, biblical perspective because the Bible is all people know nowadays. So it comes down to uh, deep you know, metaphysical research, because you also got to understand many schools of thoughts in order to um, break down the barriers and to think and think outside the limitations of mankind and the construct of the European construct, right? So now I'm going to get my Greek, my screen share going real quick. So when you're talking about the gray solar flash, right? The great solar flash is basically a cosmic celestial event that's going to cause a DNA activation on the planet because you're going from a, a third dimensional frequency to a fifth dimensional frequency, which coincides with um, the Bathari gland. Because when you break down the etymological roots of the word bara, it means uh, a new space and a new space and time through the cuneiform language. So that new space and time is going to cause a DNA activation that's going to activate the Akashic records all throughout your biological structure, all throughout your anatomy, right? So during this cosmic event, that's when it's the last solar cycle, because that means that, you know, the lunar frequency on the planet has basically been depleted because that lunar frequency is what controls the electrical grid nodes on the planet in the firmament that keeps us acclimated to a better simulation of reality, which is the matrix, right? So when this celestial event happens and you have these colossal coronal mass ejections that's going to be projected to the planet, that's when they're going to say, oh, Russia uh, bombed somebody or Ukraine bombed somebody or the United States bombed somebody when that's not really what happened. Now, the solar transmission uh, from the cosmos and from the sun is basically is what's going to cause all types of calamities on the planet. So I need you to un also understand that this great solar flash is also a DNA activation because the DNA in your biological structure is an electromagnetic generator and a light code transducer by transmuting the light code messages from the mRNA to the DNA. So it's acting as an amplifier and a converter by uh, activating the light codes. So it's basically going to transmute the carbonated body into a crystallized being to where it's going to activate the 144,000 crystals in your brain called the magnetites and the dendrites, right? So it shows you uh, a great awakening, uh, fifth dimensional ascension uh, map right here. <clears throat> so a lot of people thought the world was going to end in 2012, but like I said, you live in a Luciferian system, so everything's inverted. 2012 was actually 2021. So that's how they hide the truth by inverting information. So you you so during this time from 2018 to 2020, this was the uh the cosmic event as you going into the uh coming out of the Aquarian age, going into the Aquarian age, I mean. So now you at the verification period of 2023, 2024, where you're gonna have uh some form of extraction that's gonna take place in our atmosphere, and that and that's basically gonna be activated by uh, Nibiru, which is coming from the 19th galaxy on planet Risk, which is what we call the mothership or the Anunnaki, right? So now when you read this passage right here, it says our civilization will witness global ET uh, contact during this time. So that's basically telling you right there that coincides with the hieroglyphics of the Sumerians who were talking about the Anunnaki as well. And I'm gonna show you a picture. <clears throat> 